welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 7 effects in DaVinci Resolve. These effects are camera shake, sharpen, glow, light rays, color correction, color generator, and directional blur. All of these are either available in the edit page for free or in the fusion page for free, so don't worry about needing DaVinci Resolve Studio just because some of them are not available in the edit page. The first transition that I use very often is called camera shake, and it's what you can expect, just a camera shake. And you can use it for transitions, it's just very difficult to. I would usually do the speed scale a little more than the motion scale, and I would set them to the motion scale to around 0 0.08 to 0 0.2, and you can see that this is already a nice slow camera shake. So that would give you a little camera shake. And that is my number one top effect. Now we have Sharpen. I use it very often, but one thing about Sharpen is that it is not available, is that it is not available in the edit page for free. You would need DaVinci Resolve Studio for it. So what I do is I right click on my clip and I click open in fusion page. So you click on the media in and you first hold down shift, then click space, and you'll get this pop-up. Now you want to search up sharpen. Add it. Many like to add a lot of sharpen on edits of like TV shows and movies and stuff like that. But personally, I like to add my sharpen from 0 0.4 to 0 0.9, sometimes 1.2 if it's a very softened clip. Right now, I'm going to set it to 0 0.6, and that is sharpen. We are now on to glow, my third most used effect. So you can either use Glow in the edit page or Glow in the fusion page. I personally prefer Glow in the fusion page, but here's what it looks like in the edit page. I would usually turn the spread up. You can really just mess around with these settings. And now I'm going to show you the Glow in the fusion page. I would usually turn the Glow size up for the soft glow and turn the gain down a little. And as you can see, that gives off a much nicer, high quality effect. And that is Glow. Click Shift Space and go search up Light Rays. And this one right here. And add that on. Just edit it to your liking. So now, moving on to color correction. So click Shift Space. And now type in Color Corrector. It's also in the CC. And add that. And now you just go around this color wheel and you change it to whatever color you like. Saturation. Uh, saturation basically makes the color pop out more or less. Try to turn the saturation up a little, as I usually do. For the contrast, it adds shadows and brightness. That's the basic introduction to contrast. And gain. Gain makes the color brighter. Lift. I would not suggest turning lift up, I would suggest turning it down for more shadows. Gamma, I usually turn this up. And brightness, you can turn the brightness down for more shadows or up for less shadows, more of like a lift. Depends on what clip I'm editing, but if I'm editing more of like a darker clip, then I would turn the brightness up so that people can see the details in the clip. If I'm making a brighter clip, the brightness down so that there could be more shadow, and that is color correction. And now we have the color generator. The color generator is an effect in the edit page, and it completely changes the color of your clip, which is very useful for doing flashes, unless you're doing flashes with either blur or, or whatever you do flashes with. Sometimes I do flashes in a little bit of a different way. And that is the color generator. And now we are moving on to directional blur, my last most used effect in DaVinci Resolve. So, directional blur basically is adding blur, but it, go it goes to it towards a certain direction, like this. And you can change the blur strength a little. Like, you can go to one of your beats and you can keyframe the blur strength, hit the gray diamond, and then go to the end of the beat. I suggest listening to audio for that. Now I'm going to turn this to zero, and you can see that's sort of a flash. And directional blur can also be used for many other things. I just mainly use it for my velocity edits. And that is directional blur. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed learning about how I use my top seven effects in Venture Resolve. And bye! Have a good day or night, wherever you are in the world.